Hello, Internet! So nice to see you. How do you find the key of a piece of music completely by ear? Well, I'm going to show you right now how to do it. I'm going to show you a very quick system that works. And I'm also going to show you a fun exercise that you can do to make this process much faster. To use this idea, you need to know your pentatonic scale. If you don't know your pentatonic scales, I do have a course on that that shows you all the basic pentatonic scales and also way more complex pentatonic scales and especially their application. But if you know your pentatonic scales already, you are ready to go. I'm going to show you a lesson where I explain exactly how to find the key of a piece of music completely by ear. If you're listening to a song and you want to play on top of it, uh, how do you find out the key of the song? Mm -hmm. So this is finding the, okay. finding the key of the song completely by ear. So yes. without any chart or any. So it's not that you have the chords and you want to find what key it is. You just, you just want to start playing, essentially. Very good. Okay. So an idea would be this. Do you know your pentatonic scales? Yeah. Or, yeah. or at least one of the patterns of the pentatonic scales? Yeah. Very good. So you just take the main pattern of the pentatonic scale. With... Right? You don't have to play the whole thing. You just need the first three or four strings. Okay? So the high three or four strings. Mm -hmm. The idea is to do that. Okay? And again, that, that's pretty much a quick and dirty method, but it works. Okay? You start okay. playing the pentatonic on a random fret. Yeah. If it sounds positively horrifying, that's not the right key. Okay, move up or down. Okay, and then you keep moving up or down until you find something that sounds okay. Okay. Makes sense? So it's just yeah. pure trial and error. Okay, so you try. If this works, great. If it doesn't, if it doesn't, okay, when you get confused, jump and start somewhere else. Because it could be that if you're moving through all the frets, then at a certain point something will sound good just because you get used to the sound. So you can jump somewhere else and see okay. if it works better or not. So far so good? Yes. Yeah. Now, here's the catch. <laughs> okay. Uh, you may or may not find the right key, meaning that if you're playing at a certain point, you're playing the C minor pentatonic, so the one that starts at the eighth fret here. Okay. It may be that, this, that, the, that, the, um, that the song is in C minor. It could also be that the song is in E flat major because those two keys have the same notes. Okay, yeah. don't worry if you don't understand that right now, but those two keys are relative, C minor and E flat major. They have the exact same notes. Yes. It could also be, though, that the piece is in a different key and you just stumble on a pentatonic that works on that. That's not a big problem if you want to improvise only with a pentatonic, <laughs> okay? You practically found a scale that works. You haven't found the key. So if your goal is limited to let's improvise over it, yeah. now you have five notes you can use, and that's something, okay? okay. Deep, but, again, the key could be slightly different. It could be either five or seven frets higher or lower than that. Perfect yeah. four, perfect fifth, higher or lower. Okay? Yeah. Because some because sometimes people use a, a, a some, sometimes different pentatonic work on the same key. That's a bit longer to explain, but if the piece say if you have a piece in G major, yeah. you could play the G major pentatonic on it, which is the same as the E minor. But you can also play uh, the D major pentatonic, which is the same as B minor. And sometimes the C major pentatonic, it is the same as A minor. Those pentatonic may work on that piece too. Which means that if you find something just by ear and using only the pentatonic, mm -hmm. you may be off by that. But it's not a big problem because those, those notes will still work. And those pentatonics that I, that I just mentioned have only one note of difference between them. Okay? Yeah. The G major pentatonic and the C major pentatonic have only one note of difference. So you have B in the G major pentatonic and C 
in the C major pentatonic. You write down the notes or you play or you find them on your fretboard. Yeah. You okay. see that. So you are typically very close to the key. That's the idea. Make sense? Yeah, yes. Okay. These of course will work if a pentatonic scale is the right thing to do. Okay? Which happens in most music most people listen to. But if you are into into bebop, extreme free jazz, uh, romantic music, okay, avant-garde, okay, <laughs> things like that, those people are not using only the pentatonic, and the key may change pretty often. So by the time you find something, the key has changed, <laughs> and then you have to chase the song through a different keys. So in this case, it's much harder. Yeah. Or if you listen to, the, to 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 thrash metal, that's that would be a problem too, in a sense, because sometimes or extreme death metal or technical death metal today, sometimes those guys use different scales, so a pentatonic will not fit entirely. Yeah. Okay. If this happens, you need to have more time, and you need to find out note by note what works on the song. Okay. Okay. Rather than using a set scale you just have to find it note by note and then build your own scale that works on that make sense yeah, yeah, yeah. so the first time you do it it's a bit hard <laughs> okay so uh, and it's also really easy to get over analytical on these and spend a lot of time to get the right thing so here's an exercise for you okay i want you not right now of course but when you have a moment of time i want you to turn on the radio on a top 40 pop station, okay, or a blues station, or, or or rock, and then because those songs last for three minutes and a half in general, so you have three minutes and a half to find the key of the song and try to play something on it. Okay. This way you cannot get too analytic, you cannot you cannot get too perfectionist, because you don't have enough time. Once the song is gone, it's gone. Yeah. You have to go on the next, okay. Half an hour of practice this way, it's really helpful for your ear. And honestly, it's pretty fun. Yeah. So you can just try pentatonic, pentatonic, pentatonic scale until there's something that fits. Yeah. And when you find one, try moving up or down five or seven frets. If all of them work, when you move up or down seven frets, for five frets, great, no problem. Just use all of them, okay? If you like this video, smash on that like button and don't forget to subscribe and click on notification, otherwise YouTube will not let you know when I put up a new video. And if you have any comment, feedback, suggestions, write them down in the comment. I enjoy reading from you and I make videos on your suggestions. This is Tommaso Zilio of musictheoryforguitar.com and until next time, enjoy!